it in the half court offense in the last four possessions. That is a formula for disaster for Notre Dame on the road. They got to get him the ball. And hands broke. To Heron Doty. Fitzpatrick on him, playing with three fouls. Mercer comes over to double. Jackson in the paint. Pick up a foul. Fireball play. Famous with three. Ditto for Fitzpatrick. Jackson. Only three of ten from the field for Torrey in this one. Gets them both to go. Lead at four for the Irish and Mike Gray. And he's in search of his 300th victory as a head coach. Mike Gray is yelling, everybody rebound. Now last time, it was exclusively Jones. He tried to go over Jackson, got a clean shot, but it missed. Double screen for him. There is Jones with the ball. Finds Famous. Oh, nice little move! Oh, he may have found something in that man. Yeah, he can play. And he's getting more experience. Division one, big time game. He's a junior college transfer. And has 14 tonight, two point game. Fifteen on the shot clock. Late hole failed Jackson out. Gets into double figures, the third Irish to hit double figures tonight. He's not a great free throw shooter, and he's made four clutch free throws right away here. Coach Stan Heath would like you to start praising his free throw shooting at this point. <laughs> clear out, clear out. Jones. The lead is at two for Notre Dame. Very good play by Stan Heath right there. All four guys are on the left side of the floor. Jones can shoot over Jackson. Maybe switch up, put a bigger guy on him if you can. Jackson will take it to the hole the last couple of trips. Offensive board goes to Nash and the putback. And Nash has been the right man in the right spot a few times. Tonight. That's a nose for it, doesn't he? And they need that badly. When Wait. Jackson, when someone comes over to block Jackson's shot, he's got a clear path. Nash with seven points and six boards. Jones, yes! Another one, he's got 22 now. The answer man. Jones responding to everything the Irish is doing. You gotta love this, huh? Has been their drama in the Big East this season. Teams going to the wire. Overtime games. Last second shots. Hansbrough. Easy put in by Nash. Hansbrough not getting it done point-wise, but a big assist there. This is very good news for the Irish. They are playing the last three or four possessions without Heron Goaty touching the ball. This way he can rest a little bit and he'll be there in the last minute or two. Mike Bray said to us today, let's finish one on the road. That's been kind of their mantra after the UConn loss. And Stan Heath will take a timeout. 13 on the shot clock. Jones gets it and he's immediately fouled. <laughs> Two point game. You got to think about Luke Heron, Jody, right here. You have to think about him if you're Notre Dame and USF. Nash. He's catching it on the perimeter here. Interesting. Instead of posting up, several touches by Luke on the outside. They can't get it to Jackson. Mercer really doing a good job. Jackson. Five on the shot clock. Second chance, chance almost. Mercer, Howard, Jones, we're tied! <laughs> Timeout, Notre Dame, 69 all here in Tampa. At 31s, now 69s. A scramble on the boards! They're coming into your living room, baby! Get out the popcorn! Jones is here! He's done that in the last two minutes and 20 seconds. Has 28, 26 tonight. 28 is his season high. That's great, huh? Aaron Goody's got the touch. Go, 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 go. 
Hansgrove. Hansgrove blocked. Jones comes up with it. Jones off the glass. No. Loose ball, Fitzpatrick. Only one guy rebounding for the Irish. The other guys were spectating. They've come all the way back. Harry Goaty. Oh, soft. <laughs> you talk about stars stepping up in this game. Big East road game. Harry Goaty, All American. Jones, All Big East. Gotta love this. Harry Goaty, 35 to lead all scores. Dominic Jones with 26 to lead the Bulls. Tied at 71 as we approach one minute left in this one. Both teams coming off losses. Notre Dame, Rob, must rebound the shot. Jones. Thought he might have been fouled as he went up for it. Famous with the foul over the back. Nash now in double figures with 10. And he is crushed. Gives the Irish a two-point lead under a minute to go. Ray is only saying one word. Rebound, rebound, oh, rebound. Where number 20, and they try to get it to him right out of the out of bounds play. It's back to Howard. That was a little closer than the Bulls probably wanted. 23 on the shot clock. Here is Jones. Jackson all over him. There's a double. It's Patrick. Might have forced that one. Mercer in the paint has time. Leader doesn't go. Follow us. Yeah. Mercer tapped his own shot in the basket. Mercer with 10. We're tied at 73. So you see the time left in this one. Timeout. Notre Dame. Almost a turnover. Watch Mercer after he shoots it. After he shoots it. Tap. Stays with it. Ball gets inbounds. Keep your eyes on Heron Gody. He will be the focus. The starting five for both teams on the court. Under 10. Heron Gody. Spin. Lost it. Foul. Two shot foul. With the clock running down. Keep your eyes. Was there a foul? There was. Five for five from the free throw line tonight. Make it six for six. Intentional miss, maybe. Timeout, USF. 1.5 left in the game. He's got the longest reach on the team. 6'7 is his height. Whoa! Fastball into the crowd from Howard. No time goes off the clock on a situation like that. If anybody's hurt, but I think soda spilled all over the place. The girl who sang the national anthem almost got hit on this one. That's oh, what a disappointing end. Blocks, but the win goes to Notre Dame, and Mike Bray gets his 300th career victory, but just barely. Notre Dame improves to 13 and 3, 2 and 1 in Big East play. USF falls to 10 and 4 and 0 and 2 in conference play.